You thought I was getting rid of my whole collection? <laughs> yeah, right. What's up, Nakamas, and welcome back. Now, I first want to say, sorry about that title. I know it was a little clickbaity. No, I am not getting rid of my Funko Pop collection, but what, what I am doing today is I am answering some questions that I got tagged on. So this is gonna be a bit of a fun video. Stay tuned for it, because um, these are some tough questions. So Lady Funko and Currently Collecting, which are YouTubers, they tagged each other in this Would You Rather challenge. And one of them, I don't, I'm not sure who, I think it was Currently Collecting, tagged Droob's Vids. So Droob's Vids, he did a video on this tag and on this challenge, and then he went ahead and tagged me. So. First of all, thank you, <laughs> Sean. I uh, really appreciate it. I <laughs> really appreciate you for giving me these hard questions that I cannot answer. Alrighty, y'all, so let's get to the first question. Now, the first question of this Would You Rather tag is, would you rather have five regular size pops or one 10-inch pop? I thought long and hard about this question, <laughs> and it was hard to answer, but the answer for me would be I would rather have five regular size pops. And I think the reason why is the same reason for a lot of other people, and it's it's space. When it comes to 10-inch pops, it kind of becomes very, very hard quickly <laughs> to know where to put them uh, in your collection. Just because they're so big, and a lot of people, like us, we like to keep our pops usually in the box. Now, the only 10-inch pop that we do have is a 10-inch Pikachu. Outside of that, we don't really have any 10-inch pops. So, I think my answer is very simple. Buy regular size pops. The next question is this. Would you rather buy a pop of your choice for $10 or a mystery pop for $5? Another hard one. <laughs> I really like the mystery boxes. I think we're always going to be buying mystery boxes. We actually currently bought <laughs> a mystery box that is not coming right now, but it's shipping out soon. And it's huge. Spoiler, it's from Chrono Toys and it's anime related. But the point is, I think I would rather buy a $10 pop of my choice. And the reason why is because I can control that. <laughs> With the mystery box, I have no control over that. And like I mentioned, I love mystery boxes. You guys have seen me unbox them in this channel. But at the end of the day, I would have to go with a pop of my choice because I know what I'm getting. And <laughs> I just want to know what I'm getting anyways. Now the last question is probably actually no. It is the hardest question out of this whole challenge. Now the question is, would you rather start your collection all over again, getting rid of what you have currently, or cut your collection and never buy pops ever again? Now if I were to go with my gut feeling, I know my answer and that's what I'm gonna go with. My answer would be get rid of everything I have right now and start a whole new collection. And the reason why is because I never see myself not buying pops again. To be honest with you guys, I don't think it's only pops for Leslie and I, but it's just collecting overall. But of course, pops is definitely the main vehicle. And by saying that, I don't think we ever see ourselves stop collecting anything at all, especially pops. So for that reason, <laughs> the second choice is a no-no. But I think the first one just gives us also an opportunity to just <laughs> start all over again. And that's kind of exciting. You know, um, when I heard some other people's answers, especially Drew's, um, he said that it's definitely an adventure. You know, it's fun when you get to collect and every pop has a story. And I totally agree with that. If I were to look at one of my pops up here, I almost <laughs> actually I think I remember every single pop that I got and how I got it. And that just feels great. So. I would definitely get rid of what I have right now, even though it might hurt, and I would start all over again. Whew. All right, so that was definitely <laughs> hard to do, but now I get to share this challenge with three other YouTubers. Now, the YouTubers that I choose are number one, Lady Jane, number two, Crazy Stone Gamer, and the third and final YouTuber, Jimmy Barnes. I will be getting in touch with each and every single one of these guys and gals 
and letting them know that I challenge them because I definitely want to know their answers <laughs> to these questions and I want to know their opinions as well. But wait, 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 they're actually not the only person <laughs> that I tag. Now I tag all of you guys, the viewers, and I want y'all to give me y'all's answers down in the comment section. Comment down below with the answer to those three questions because I will be very, very interested in knowing y'all's answers. Alrighty, Nakamas, so that's gonna do it for me. <laughs> I hope y'all had fun watching this video, but as always, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to comment down below with your answers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.